For washing miracles no soap can equal, it's Draft, America's largest selling brand for silks, nylons, woolens, dishes. And now, Draft, America's favorite brand for dishes, presents Joyce Jordan, M.D. Friends, how'd you like a brand new set of kitchen knives? A wonderful carving knife with a really good paring knife to match. Well, Parker & Gamble will give you that grand knife set for only 50 cents if you'll try the new improved Dreft. So how about it? It's a wonderful deal. You get a handsome knife set and discover Dreft for dishes at the same time. Why, you can't lose. That knife set's a real bargain. Sells for a dollar and a quarter in stores, but you can get both knives for only 50 cents and a Dreft box top. Hurry, though, because this is the last week we'll make this offer on this program. So send for your knives right away. The big carving knife is a good sharp one. It's hollow ground to stay sharp. The matching paring knife has the same fine quality blade, genuine stainless steel that won't rust or tarnish. Both knives have good-looking red plastic handles that are molded on. So they can't come loose, ever. Get some new draft right away and send for these knives while the supply lasts. And try that new draft right away, too. It's a seven-day wonder in the dishpan. Always has been, of course. Draft, you know, was the first suds to make dishes shine, even without wiping. And now, draft is better than ever, with four big improvements. One, new draft is the mildest ever. Two, it makes even more suds. Three, it's amazingly sneeze-free. Four, draft now goes further, washes one quarter more dishes. Try the new draft and send for your matching knife set today without fail. Just send 50 cents, your name and address, and one draft box top to Joyce Jordan, Cincinnati 1, Ohio. That's Joyce Jordan, Cincinnati 1, Ohio. Get it on this bargain and get the new improved draft. Joyce Jordan, M.D. Well, for a while, the dark clouds that had been hovering over Joyce Jordan seemed to be lifting. For when Brett regained consciousness, she admitted that Joyce was doing everything possible for her. Joyce was really walking on air when she went into Dawson Blakely's room, but she found Dawson in a foul mood. And when she left Dawson's room, she was on the point of tears. Joyce doesn't dream that at this moment more trouble is coming her way. For Richard Bergman, who's heard the whole story of the poisoning from Celia, is en route to Hotchkiss Memorial, and he's all set to reopen a case that Joyce thinks closed. Bergman is fuming as his cab is held up in traffic. And Dawson, as he lies in bed, is fuming too. I wouldn't let Joyce kiss me. I treated her as if she were the most casual acquaintance instead of the woman I love. And heaven help me, I did it on purpose. I don't want Joyce to be tied for life to an invalid, even though that invalid is me. I want love, not pity. Dawson twitches with nervousness as the door opens. Well, you might knock before you... Oh... Hello, Mother. And how's the world treating you today, darling? Oh, I've been having a wonderful time. I watched the sun come up over the skyscrapers. I went for a brisk walk in the park first thing this morning. And after that, I drove a car like mad out to a nice little inn in the country, and I ate lunch with 17 beautiful models. Dawson, dear, don't you feel well? I feel superb. After lunch, I played deck tennis, and then badminton, and then golf. Oh, darling, it makes me feel dreadful when you talk like this. Well, how do you think it makes me feel? Oh, I wish there was something I could say that would give you a ray Don't of... Don't try to brighten things up, Mother. I enjoy being gloomy. Has the doctor given you a bad report? Certainly not. All the doctors treat me with kid gloves. Nobody'd think of giving me a bad report. Have you had a quarrel with anyone? Nary a quarrel. Been alone all day? Hasn't anyone been in to see you? I've had too many visitors. Well, now, if there's anything you relish in the way of food, I'll have it sent in. I haven't any appetite, Mother. Poor dear boy. 
Maybe you should come home. I don't want to. I can get along better here. I can practice walking here better than at home. I have my invalid walker. But you can have an invalid walker in your room at home. The invalid walker is mechanical. I want help that isn't mechanical at the moment. Help that isn't mechanical? What sort of help? Dr. Gray's helping me. He comes up to my room a couple of times a day. If I were home, that wouldn't be possible. Well, of course it does make a difference to have a man, Doctor, at your beck and call. Oh, yes. Definitely. It makes a great difference. Dawson, hasn't Joyce Jordan been in to see you today? She left just a few minutes before you arrived, Mother. I didn't pass her in the corridor. Well, maybe she went to see someone else on the same floor. Brett Martin, for instance. It's wonderful, isn't it? What's wonderful? Why, Brett Martin's miraculous recovery. The whole hospital thought she'd never make it. I haven't heard. Well, Joyce Jordan's skill and perseverance have turned the trick for her sworn enemy. Brett would have recovered anyhow. <laughs> You're the only one who thinks so. Well, I haven't discussed the matter with a soul since Brett Martin recovered consciousness. Yes, yes, that's true. You had all your discussions when it looked as if Brett were dying. Oh, Mother, Mother, can't you be fair? I am fair. I always have been entirely fair. Oh, well. When are you leaving for Florida? That depends. On what? On you, darling. I won't go at all this winter. I'll leave the house closed or lend it to some friend if you don't care to go south. It's quite possible that I may care to go south. Why, Dawson, just the other day you told me, well, I'll phone my caretaker immediately. I'll tell him to hire servants. Oh, I'm thrilled. Dawson, what has come over you? Could be common sense. Could be the glowing spirit of self-sacrifice. <laughs> Where does self-sacrifice come in? Look, I'm very tired today, Mother. I'd rather not go into involved explanations. Very well, dear. I won't question you. I'm always willing to accept good news on faith. Good news? If you're coming south with me, it's the best news I've heard in a long while. I haven't had my boy to myself for years, or so it seems. <sighs> Mother, you wouldn't want to run along, would you? I'll go immediately, Dawson. I have a great many things to do. This new development, the fact that you're going south. With I me. haven't said that I'll go. I've only said that I may go. Well, you're in a sensible mood, dear, so I'm not worried. I'll just kiss you goodbye. Oh, your forehead feels cold, dear. I feel a bit cold all over. Poor darling. Well, you won't feel cold in Florida. That warm sun will be a tonic to you. <laughs> well, goodbye, darling. Goodbye. Oh, well. I wonder what caused this change of mind. Oh, oh, Dr. Jordan. Hello, Miss Blakely. And how are you this morning? Quite well, thank you. Dark day, isn't it? Very dark. Well, we must have some dark days. They can't all be bright and sunny. How true. Have you been to see Brett Martin? Yes, I just left her. I'm going back later, oh, too. Oh, how is the dear girl? Fine. She's making incredible progress. When she's entirely recovered, will she continue to work for Mr. Bergman? She did such brilliant articles for him. She hasn't discussed anything about her work with me. It's a little soon for that. But she'll get back into harness one way or another quite soon, I'm sure. Just a moment ago, she was telling me she's dying to write a play. Really? Well, I hope she doesn't use our dear hospital as the scene of action. No, it's to be a family play, I believe. Oh. Tell me, where is she going from the hospital? I've asked her to stay with me. Well, well, that is a surprise. Oh, it's not, really. I'm Brett's oldest friend in New York. Well, I, I must go along, Mrs. Blakely. I have to go through one of the wards, make inspection, you know. <laughs> yes, of course. But uh, first, Dr. Jordan, what do you think of my son? I'm devoted to him. Oh, I didn't mean... Uh, what do you think of him personally? What do you think of his condition? He's doing a remarkable job, too. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say so. I've been worried about him lately. Yes, we've all been worried about Dawson. But since Dr. Gray took such an interest in him, I've known a certain degree of relief. I can well understand that. When Dr. Gray takes an interest in a patient, 
that patient's chances are increased a hundredfold. You have great confidence in Dr. Gray, haven't you, Dr. Jordan? Complete confidence. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say so. Yes, I have been worried about Dawson lately, but this morning my worry has decreased immeasurably. But this morning I felt that Dawson was a bit below par. What I mean is uh, depressed and sad. Oh, I had just the opposite impression. He was full of gay ideas. Gay ideas? Yes. We discussed our trip to Florida at great length. Your trip to Florida? I hadn't heard about it. Oh, then I'm telling you some news for a change, Dr. Jordan. Yes, I'm happy to say that Dawson has decided to accompany me to Florida. Oh. Didn't he mention it to you this morning? Well, well, of course, we talked about a great many things. Really? So I may have forgotten. And then I had to rush off to a clinic. I see. And I, I must rush off now to my ward. I know you'll excuse me, Mrs. Blakely. Yes, indeed, Dr. Jordan. Business before pleasure always. I understand. Goodbye, Dr. Jordan. Goodbye, Mrs. Blakely. <laughs> that took the wind out of Dr. Joyce Jordan's sails. Her face dropped and the color went out of it. <sighs> I think I'll go back to Dawson's room for a minute and... Come in. If it's you, nurse, I don't want any food. I'm not hungry. Dawson, why are you lying there with your face to the wall? Mother, well, I thought you were halfway home by this time. Hmm, I would have been, except that I was waylaid in the hall by a mutual acquaintance. For instance? Joyce Jordan. Oh. Did you forget something, Mother? My gloves. They're not here. Oh, I must have left them in a taxi or dropped them in the street. Oh, it's a pity. They were new. Uh, Dr. Jordan told me some interesting news. Yes? Brett Martin's going to stay with her when she leaves the hospital. What? Well, that is astonishing news. Well, Brett Martin and Joyce Jordan certainly have one thing in common. They're both extremely changeable. <laughs> Aren't we all? I'm not. When I make a decision, I stick to it. <laughs> I had the pleasure of telling Dr. Jordan our news, darling. Our news? What are you getting at? Oh, naturally, we chatted about you. You're the one interest we have in common, Dawson, really. Go on, don't fence. What did you tell Joyce? Well, first of all, I told her that you were very grateful for Dr. Gray's help. She knows about that. Go on. Well, I told her I was extremely happy over our prospective trip south. What? Yes. I told Dr. Jordan that you were going to Florida with me. She did seem a bit surprised, but she agreed that it was a splendid idea for all concerned. don't forget how simple it is to get a modern set of stainless steel knives for your kitchen. Just try the new improved draft and you can have that handsome carving knife and paring knife to match for only 50 cents. Hurry though, we'll have this offer on this program only a few days more. So don't miss out. What an opportunity, friends. You'll discover draft washes your dishes like nothing before and you'll get two knives you'll use and use. That carving knife is a wonder. Cuts through beef, lamb, chicken in slick precision. And the matching paring knife won't rust or tarnish. Another thing, the handles can't come off. They're molded on. So try the new draft and send for your knives today, sure. Don't miss out on them and don't miss the amazing new draft. Draft was always a marvel in the dishpan and now it's even better. Four ways better. One, the new draft is milder. Two, it makes far more suds. Three, draft is now wonderfully sneeze-free. Four, draft now goes further, washes one quarter more dishes. Try draft today. Get your matching knife set, too. But hurry, just send 50 cents and one draft box top with your name and address to Joyce Jordan, Cincinnati 1, Ohio. Don't miss this bargain and don't miss the new improved draft. And now this is Richard Stark inviting you to listen again to Joyce Jordan, M.D., brought to you by Procter & Gamble, makers of Draft, America's favorite brand for dishes. It's new, it's improved, it's better than ever. Draft. 
This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.